Good morning students. Students, today we will learn relationship between multiplication and division. Students, here we have some flowers. We have one, two, three rows of flowers and in each row we have one, two, three, four flowers. So, it means 3 multiplied by 4 is equal to 12. Now, I want to divide these 12 flowers in 4 parts. So, I will make 4 groups of these flowers. In each group, we have 1, 2, 3 flowers. It means 12 divided by 4 is equal to 3. Now, I want to divide these flowers in 3 equal groups. So, we made 3 groups of these flowers and in, and in each group we have 1, 2, 3, 4 flowers. It means 12 divided by 3 is equal to 4. In this way, with the help of multiplication, we have got the two facts of division. Now, I have from up to downward side four columns and in each column we have one, two, three flowers. It means four columns each of three flowers and it is equal to four multiplied by three is equal to twelve. From left to right we have three rows and in each row we have one, two, three, four flowers means three rows each of four flowers. It is equal to three multiplied by four is equal to twelve. Now with the help of division we have got the two facts of multiplication. In this way from multiplication we can get two facts of division and from division we can get two facts of multiplication. Now let's solve sums by using these facts. Here we are given 4 multiplied by 5 is equal to 20. From this we have to write two facts of division. If we divide 20 with 4 the answer will be 5. Secondly, if we divide 20 with 5, the answer will be yes, 4. Now, we are given 3 multiplied by 5 is equal to 15. Now, students, from this we will write two facts of division. First is 15 divided by 3 is equal to yes students what will be the answer very good the answer is 5 second fact is now divide 15 with 5 and the answer will be 3 students in the same way we can write two facts of division for every sum of multiplication today's question is Take the correct option for the picture given below. And here a picture is given. The options are A. 4 plus 3 is equal to 12. B. 4 minus 3 is equal to 12. C. 3 plus 4 is equal to 12. And the option D is 12 divided by 4 is equal to 3. Look at the picture. Here 12 apples are divided in four groups and in each group there are three apples. So, the correct option is yes. Option D 12 divided by 4 is equal to 3. Students, you have to write down the facts of division for the each sum of multiplication on page number 109.